Protocol number 460, is the author present? Yes. You have four minutes. Oh, there are amendments to this proposal. <laughs> Delegates, please pay attention to the link to read them once. Line 26, where it states, Tier 1 level accepted, Tier 1 educational level accepted. You should change that to Tier 3 level, educational level accepted. So change Tier 1 to Tier 3. Lines 42 and 43 should be changed as follows. Soldiers must be enlisted for five years to gain American citizenship and residency for all dependents. Thank you guys, and I don't mean to be rude, but if you guys would wait and just go up there as they come down, that way we don't have a big crowd even just wait and go up to the table, that's what we're now trying to prevent, but thank you guys. Alright, with that said, we will now move, open, uh, move to the author's opening speech. You have four minutes, you may begin when ready. Thank you, Sir Chair Gomez, DC Delegation. I reserve my right to yield the, rain, the remainder of my time to my submission speech. That's your right. Um, first off, I'd like to start, up, start off by saying that I will not be speaking Spanish this morning. Sorry. Um, my fellow immigrants, my fellow Americans, I stand before you today hoping to decapitate two birds with one proposal. Illegal immigration is a problem that our predecessors have long struggled with. Shifting to the modern debate, on one hand you, those, you have those who believe that amnesty can heal our nation's bruises, while others believe that a giant wall can keep immigrants out. They must have not heard of the failures of that great wall of China thing. My plan is to decrease the sting of pointless, unprofitable deportation while increasing the numbers of, of a military always short on manpower. With the passing of my proposal, all, all, all undocumented immigrants who, have, who are captured by the United States and meet the proper requirements will be given the choice to join the armed forces for a period of five years, with citizenship being granted to the soldier at the end of that period, and residency status given to any dependents. James Madison once wrote that America was indebted to immigration. However, as the grand capitalist nation that we are, we must show illegal immigrants that if they wish to turn the American dream into an American reality, they must be unafraid to work for it by willingly placing their lives on the line to defend America in all, her, all of her interests. I believe an aptly named delegate gave the simplest and most philosophical of justifications for this proposal. He said, if they are willing to die for this country, then they should be able to live for this country. I yield my time to my summation. Line 29 makes void and defeats the entire purpose 
of this proposal. We cannot vote for it. Thank you, and I yield the remainder of my time to the chair. Matthew Roberts, Tennessee. Studies suggest that there are approximately 12 million illegal immigrants in the United States, but we must remember the adjective in front of the word immigrants, illegal. These immigrants come to America for a land of opportunity and freedoms. However, right now they are depriving the citizens of the land they love of several things. By working for extremely low wages, illegals take American jobs away from citizens. Our healthcare system loses money by having to treat illegal immigrants for free. American citizens lose $90 billion per year so that illegal immigrants can receive welfare. Overall, the illegal immigration problem causes our country to lose $10 billion per year. If you love a country, you do not break its laws, take its citizens' jobs away, and steal others' hard-earned money. If immigrants want to break the laws of the country they want to live in to get here, they should be willing to serve that country. This proposal allows illegal immigrants to have a path to citizenship by serving in the military or armed forces for five years. However, those who merely want a free ride will be discouraged from breaking the law and will choose to have the path of citizenship legally. I want to remind you, delegates, that this will not affect those who want to come to America legally. Also, I would like to comment on how some might say these new arrivals to the military might not have the will to serve. Those who come to America will know the repercussions and will serve this new country patriotically. How patriotic would it be to serve a country that you were so willing to get into that you would break the laws? I encourage you to pass this proposal because it's the necessary and proper thing to do. We must have a path to citizenship for illegal immigrants and how great of an idea it is for them to serve this country to become citizens. With that, I yield my time.